that question of, of what is money but we've got like um i was thinking in terms of of our coins so we have like uh this is one of the one of those newer nickels um and so we say that's worth five cents but if we look at this piece of metal <laughs> that's not worth very much that's a washer <laughs> so you put that on a screw and then it's so one of these is is like legal tender and has a value and and one of these is just a hunk of metal mm. if you have a dime that's this little guy and this bigger guy is a nickel but why is the little guy worth twice as much uh, that's a good question <laughs> It's almost like it's all arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's all made up. <laughs> and then you have these, you know, tell me what these are. Poker chips? Yeah, poker chips or, or casino chips. I don't know. Yeah, they're cheap, they're poker chips. But And these we just kind of assign money sometimes, and sometimes they're just a, uh, a piece of plastic. Yeah. There's this question like what is money, and there's there is a, a history to money in one of these uh one of these handy websites you see out this was kind of interesting they talk about how he started out with with bartering like you would in in older uh, civilizations and then they started doing coins and the the original coins it was almost like uh it was the value of the metal really as much as anything like, and you, it would almost be like trading in like gems or something with, with, for the original money and then you started coming down to the concept of what they call representative money. And that's where you would start to put a, a value on it that's not really just straight up the, the value of the metal itself. Things like here, yeah, they're talking like the British pound and the pound sterling. And then, and then you get to the point of fiat money, which is where it turns into, it can be a piece of paper and it, it's Latin for the word, let it be done. And it's just like this piece of paper. I was reading something that was saying that when Marco Polo got to China, they, they were using paper money. And in his experience, that wasn't a thing. And he was amazed at the idea that they would be trading in, in the market and would actually just buy something and just and just give this piece of paper for it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, what? This is just a piece of paper. But that's the, the whole idea of, of the fiat currency. It's just that the government decides it's a thing, it's the currency. Well, for a while there was the there was the kind of both the paper and the representative paper because I was saying that the uh, pound sterling, the British pound sterling was based on pound of sterling silver. The U.S. Mm. dollar bill was gold backed until I think 1971. So that was that like paper money being the paper representative money turning into that paper fiat money. Yeah.